Today we'll be ranking every single Konoha 12 members, including Sai. That's why we have every single one of them, so I guess that means 13 of them, because including Sai. Now this tier will be also be going on from S to F tier, you know, already typical tier list standard. And before we start, comment down below for any other tier list you want me to kind of do. But for right now, let's get into this. Starting off with one of the best ones of all time, Hinata, you know. She's always been there for Naruto when no one else really was there. She's one of like... Which she's one of the few ones who really accepted Naruto, you know, my boy. So, of course, I have to rank Hinata high up there in A tier. You know, she's the, she's the princess of the Hyuka clan. What else do I say? She's also part of the main branch family, unlike an edgy. So, I'll give her those points. And she may not be the strongest, but she's also really high up in skill. Inu. Now, what I will say, I wish Inu actually did, like, we got to just, like, see her display, like, more of her power throughout the series of Naruto and in... Shippuden, so I'm glad to put her in B tier because honestly, we we always really seen her use that mind transfer jutsu, not like many more of it. So yeah, I'm glad to keep her in B tier. Is that honestly who I think I see right there? Is that Kiba? Oh my goodness, bro! I hate Kiba so much. Kiba has to be the worst character in Naruto. And when I say worst character, I mean I absolutely despise Kiba, man. I said this before, he has two good moves, Fang over Fang and Dynamic Markin. Like, what is that? Alright, here's this chip-loving fat son of a- oh my goodness, Choji. I'm putting Choji in B tier. I mean, the way he got handled by Kakuzu was one thing, but he also unlocked that butterfly mode. I would say he's like an interesting character, but... Really barely got to see any display from Choji from over here. So of course he's gonna be in B tier. And here is my boy, the one of the best members in the Kodha 12, Rock Lee. I have to put him in S tier because you know Rock Lee's my guy. You know, he may be like a little bit of a fraud, but he's still my guy at the end of the day. And of course we have Naruto Goat Uzumaki. I you already know that's gonna be S tier right there, right off the gate. You know, I always slip for Naruto. Naruto is actually one of the few characters in the start of uh, anime, the main character I actually liked. Because there's been characters starting off with the anime I don't like as much. Like, let's take Luffy, let's take Luffy for example. Starting on One Piece, I didn't like him that much. He wasn't my like my main favorite. When it comes to Naruto, he actually was. Neji, B tier. I mean A tier. I mean, I was, I was gonna have both the Hugo clan members in A tier because you know. You know, Neji's always been the better one besides Hinato. I mean, when it comes to his attack moves, he's always been displaying way more better feats when it was shown. So yeah, Neji's right there. He also been a, he also been a homie right there. Sai, B tier. I mean, Sai is a really good, interesting person. I mean, as a star, he really had barely any personality. But the more he went on, he actually developed a good personality of his own. He's always there for his friends, and I he always got Steve. I mean, not really much I could say about Sai at the end of the day, except <laughs> he's Sai. Sakura, a lot of people probably won't agree with me, but I'm putting Sakura in, in A tier. You know, starting off Naruto, I actually didn't know much about, like, the fan base behind Naruto. So when I watched Naruto and Shibuya for the first time, I actually really enjoyed Sakura as the character. When I hopped online and looking at the fandom, I figured out that a, a big, huge portion of the fandom did not like Sakura. And I was like, I was mad confused when they were, and when they were pointing out the reasons why, I was also confused because... I was like, did I not watch the same thing they watched? It was kind of different, but yeah, soccer's good. Sasuke, A tier. Uh, I'll put A tier. Like I said before, throughout Naruto and Shippuden, I did not like Sasuke. He was not one of my favorite characters at all, so of course he's going to be in A tier. I would put him in B tier, but half like he does not deserve to be in B tier. Shikamaru, that's undoubtedly an S tier right there, you know. He's weak to this one of the smartest in the shows. Without him, everything would have been completely ruined. The only thing I say about Shikamaru is his hairline is absolutely fried. I mean, come on. Did you not see how his hairline has been disintegrating ever since Naruto to Shippuden to Boruto? I mean, it's basically gone at this point. Just go bald. Now we have the absolute goat, Shinu. I mean, Shinu with barely any dialogue throughout the series, but he's always had a way to back up everything. 
the first sight for first fight we seen with him, he of course we won. Second fight he won. I mean she was that boy, I gotta put him in A tier. She knows always had that fly in him. We always knew that. Ten ten. Negative screen time, barely any fights, low on dialogue, and the most forgettable person in the entire Konoha twelve. Man, this is terrible. I'll put you in beats here just because I I found your character interesting, even though you have barely the screen time. So, I think this is honestly the best ranking I could honestly give. Of course, we have the have we have the goats right here. I mean, let me fix up the order. Okay, yeah, you have the goats right here in S tier: Naruto, Shikamaru, Rock Lee. Of course, I gotta have them up here. And A tier. We have these other goats, Sakura, Neji, Shinu, Hinata, and Sasuke. And we have some other goats. Right here, we have Sai, Tenten, Inu, and Choji. And then, of course, for last, I have to put this worthless, absolutely stupid, pathetic. Pathetic excuse for a Naruto ninja. I mean, he comes from what clan again? The, the the dog clan? I mean, he's been getting carried by Akamaro this entire time. I'm pretty sure Akamaro has been putting up better feats than he ever had. Come on, bro. Get the sorry excuse for a ninja out of here, man. But that's my entire ranking list right here. The entire Konoha 12. I'm probably gonna do an Akatsuki tier list soon. Or probably like a, like a One Piece Marine tier list. For right now, peace out to you, and bye.